A Chinese legend says that one day a lion fell in love with a monkey. In order to marry her, he asked the Buddha to shrink him, but allow him to retain his great lion heart and character. Buddha agreed, and from this union the Pekinjis, dog lions of China, originated. This may not be a completely true story, but it is interesting. The breed is really ancient, DNA analysis has confirmed it as one of the oldest dog breeds. Named after the capital city of Beijing, they were companions of nobles, princes and members of the imperial family. The Pekinjis was carefully guarded and could never leave the palace, let alone the country. It attracted the attention of the Western world as a result of the 1860 war. After the British invasion of Beijing, five Pekinjis were found in the imperial palace guarding the body of a woman who had committed suicide. Dogs became trophies of that war and were taken to England. Two of them were donated to the Duchess of Wellington, two more to the Dukes of Richmond and Gordon, and one to Queen Victoria, who named him Ludi. They were still a rare breed, although by the 1890s many Pekinjis were smuggled out of Beijing. The Pekinjis Club was founded in 1904. Naturally, the breed's popularity spread across the Atlantic to the United States. The first Pekinjis registered by the American Kennel Club was Rascal in 1906. Six years later, the breed made headlines when the Pekinjis was one of three dogs to survive the Titanic crash. In 1909, the American Pekinjis Club was formed. Today this breed is ranked 49th among 155 breeds. Pekinjis, Breed Description. The Pekinjis is a well-balanced, compact dog of Chinese origin with heavy forelimbs and lighter hindquarters. Pekinjis is the very spontaneity, independence, and individuality. His image is like a lion and implies courage and self-esteem, not weakness and delicacy. Pekinjis have very distinct, wrinkled flat muzzles that, while adorable, often cause breathing and eye problems for the breed. The head of the Pekinjis is large in relation to the body and rather wide. Their noses are short and have wide open nostrils. The wrinkles run from the cheeks to the bridge of the nose, which forms an inverted V. Their eyes are round, clear and have a lovely dark sheen. The ears of the Pekinjis boast an abundant amount of hair, which adds to the attractiveness of the breed. The necks of the dogs are rather thick and relatively short, the front legs are stronger than the hind legs and thick. Their shoulders are well relaxed and fit perfectly into the dog's body. The Pekinjis has a rather short body and a clear waist. Their ribs are well sprung with a good top line. The hind feet are muscular and strong, although slightly lighter than the front. The feet of the Pekinjis are rather flat and large, the front feet are often slightly curved and the hind feet are pointing straight ahead. Their tails are set high and the dogs have slightly curved backs and sometimes carry their tail to one side. The tails of the Pekinjis are beautifully decorated with wool. Popular colors of Pekinjis. The Pekinjis has a long core straight coat that sits away from the body like a fluffy halo. There is a thick soft undercoat under the top coat. Consistent with his description as a lion dog, the Pekinjis has a noticeable mane on the neck and shoulders, and the coat on the rest of the body is somewhat shorter. Although it should be long and plentiful, the coat should not obscure the shape of the body. Long hair is found on the back of the feet and on the toes, with a longer edging on the ears and tail. Wool can be of different colors and have any patterns. Pekinjis can be black, red, fawn, red, brindle, and also partially colored, for example, white with a different color. He may or may not have a black mask. The white Pekinjis was highly regarded by the Chinese and is still quite popular today. Regardless of the color of the coat, the exposed skin of the muzzle, nose, lips and eyes is always black. The accepted colors of the breed, registered in dog clubs, are as follows. The black, black brown, black and white, tiger black, cream, creamy black, pale black, fawn brindle, black fawn brindle, gray brindle, light red, red, red and black, red brindle, red brindle black, red fawn black, silver, silver brindle, silver fawn black, white. You can brush your peck and G's coat weekly with a small bristle brush or brush. Before combing, you need to slightly moisten the comb or brush with water so that the coat does not break. The comb should be completely flat against the skin. Simply walking over the top of the coat will not remove the dead hair that forms rugs and tangles. A metal comb should be used on the plumage and edging on the legs, ears and tail. These areas are easy to tangle and should be combed daily. An important fact, it is necessary to trim the hair on the paws to prevent the development of the rugs and the ingress of foreign objects there. Trim your nails regularly, usually every two or three weeks. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, then they are too long. The Nature and Habits of the Pekinjis he may look funny, but the Pekinjis is a serious character, tougher and more daring than his appearance suggests. The regal dignity, self-esteem, confidence and stubbornness of the Pekinjis fit into a lively and good-natured dog that respects the owner. He staunchly protects people, barks in warning when strangers appear. 
It needs to be trained firmly but good-naturedly, using positive reinforcement such as food rewards and praise. It is easy to succeed if you convince the Pekingese that doing something is his idea, not the owner. A Pekingese's temperament is influenced by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with a good temperament are curious and playful, ready to approach people and be in touch with them. Pekingese don't always get along with other dogs. They prefer the company of other Pekingese and can take a long time to get used to other pets. Like any dog, the Pekingese needs early socialization, getting to know many different people, looks, sounds and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps to ensure that your puppy grows up to be sociable and well-mannered. The Pekingese is very loving and affectionate with his family, but wary with strangers. This characteristic makes them excellent guard dogs. They love to bark when strangers approach. Some Pekingese have a tendency to bark too much, so it's a good idea to teach them when to stop. They are brave, sometimes very reckless, and, if necessary, will protect the owner to death. The Pekingese will meet the owner with dignity and pride. He is well aware that his ancestors were companions of the royal family and continues to demand respect for himself. He is fully aware of who he is and how important it is to the people who live with him. Interesting facts about the Pekingese. The Pekingese is an ideal companion for an elderly person and prefers to live in a home with only one adult rather than a home with many small children. The Pekingese is a good choice for aspiring owners, although anyone who wants to share their home with one of these adorable little dogs should be willing to devote a lot of time to keeping their coats in good condition. The Pekingese is not a good choice for families with toddlers who can treat him rudely without thinking about it. The Pekingese will not tolerate being grabbed and will not hesitate to defend himself. Children should always be taught how to approach and touch dogs. Monitor any interactions between dogs and young children. A child should never go near any dog while it is sleeping or eating or trying to steal dog food. No dog should be left unattended with a child. Pekingese prefer the company of other Pekingese, but with early socialization, they can learn to get along with other dogs and cats and can even manage dogs that are 20 times their size. Pekingese are highly adaptable dogs if given enough daily exercise combined with plenty of mental stimulation to prevent boredom. Pekingese love cold temperatures. Raised to endure Beijing's long, cold winters, Pekingese do well when temperatures drop. Some Pekingese owners even travel with ice packs to keep their puppies comfortable. Some Pekingese enjoy swimming and go out on the water whenever possible, especially in hot weather. However, since they have such a long, dense coat and short muzzles, care should always be taken when a Pekingese decides to go into the water. Their heavy coat can pull them down and they can have trouble breathing because this is a brachycephalic breed. Pros and cons of Pekingese. The Pekingese is an intelligent dog who knows how to play with his charm. The Pekingese is very attached to his master and has little inclination to accept person strangers to his family. That is why, despite its small size, it is a good watchman who knows how to warn his master in case of an intrusion into the house. The brave Pekingese does not hesitate to compete with other dogs, even bigger than him, in defending their territory. Pekingese are very strong-willed. Pekingese owners often refer to their pets as cocky. Maybe it also has something to do with their royal heritage, these dogs are smart, they know their mind, and are not afraid to express their feelings. Obedience classes are a good way to make sure these lion qualities don't develop into stubbornness. Fun fact, the Pekingese can be a good guard dog. In ancient China, the smallest fierce Pekingese were held in the sleeves of royalty and used as miniature guard dogs. These Pekingese traits have not been lost. Owners often report that their pets are letting them know of intruders or other suspected hazards. A Pekingese with a strong character is not a very obedient dog. He must be taught firmly enough to be able to respect the master's orders. An attentive, kind, but firm teacher, ideal for a Pekingese. This is why this dog is good for the elderly. On the other hand, he doesn't really appreciate the company of children. Aggression is the Pekingese's reaction to being rude and violent, so you need to be careful with this. The best way to punish is to be ignored because Pekingese don't like being alone. The Pekingese coat requires special care. The Pekingese needs to be cleaned several times a week and needs to take a bath from time to time, if not cared for, the fur can become matted. Some Pekingese owners also trim their fur above their eyes for the dog to see and in hot weather for the dog's comfort. The Pekingese also shed seasonally. Pekingese need daily exercise, but they will not tire the owner. All dogs need to get enough activity to stay physically and mentally healthy, but since Pekingese are bred for companionship and not for sport, their owners will not need to run miles with them every day. A couple of moderately long walks a day should be sufficient. Breeding Pekingese. The Pekingese is not an easy breed to breed. 
there can be many complications associated with mating them, the most common of which is the fairly common caesarean section among them. The average litter of Pekingese consists of two to four puppies. Male and female Pekingese reach sexual maturity between six and nine months of age, although he or she will still be too young to reproduce. The ideal age for crossing Pekingese is after two years. In most cases, you need the help of a veterinarian to breed Pekingese, as complications can arise. For a long time the breed was somewhat exclusive, due to the small number of breeding dogs in Europe. They continued their royal life, as many belonged to the rich and famous people of the time. Over time, the Pekingese were reduced in size, some of them had very short legs and very elastic bodies, but retained the weight and bones of their ancestors. Today's Pekingese resembles those five who had the shape of a head with rounded sides, a flat muzzle, and an agile gait caused by curved forelegs, broad chest, and lean hindquarters. However, the Pekingese have evolved over the years, and they now wear exceptionally long hair that often hides rather than emphasizes the contours of their bodies. Pekingese care. Pekingese are good house dogs. They love to run and frolic. The Pekingese appreciates walking and makes a great companion for exploring the area with a host. They love to run around the house, especially with another Pekingese or another dog. Despite their heavy coat, Pekingese are pets and should not live outdoors. Their short noses make them sensitive to heat, which is why they must live in an air-conditioned environment. The Pekingese needs a daily walk when the dog is forced to walk beside or behind the person holding the leash. Instinct tells her that the leader leads, and this leader must be human. Play caters to many of their exercise needs, however, as with all breeds, play will not fulfill their basic walking instinct. Dogs that do not take daily walks are more likely to exhibit behavioral problems. They will also enjoy a good romp in a safe, open, off-leash area such as a large fenced yard. Pekingese dogs are stubborn and can be difficult to train. They won't respond at all to harsh corrections or rigorous teaching methods. It's important to reward them every time they do something right. An important fact, it is necessary to cleanse the face and area around the eyes of the Pekingese daily with a damp cotton swab to avoid problems with skin folds in this place. Skin folds need to be kept clean and dry to prevent infections. Every time a Pekingese gets wet, the folds of the skin must be thoroughly dried until the dampness is removed. You need to bathe your Pekingese once or twice a month as needed. It is recommended to use a dog shampoo so as not to dry out his coat. You can also whip up dry dog shampoo and then brush it off. Teaching your Pekingese puppy to brush his teeth at least weekly, preferably every day, will help prevent future dental disease. The Diet of the Pekingese Pekingese need a high-protein diet, especially during the puppy stage.